I think we're seeing a repeat of really what happened in May. And what happened then was that basically the majority of the, the properties that were sold were under the 500,000 range. And we really weren't seeing much shift in prices occur. And in fact, the market, if anything, is stabilized. There really hasn't been the uh, steep price declines that a lot of people were concerned about. Beginning of the year, we really saw consumer confidence affected by what was happening in the energy sector. And it just didn't have the impact that a lot of people anticipated. June sales activity continued to remain lower than levels that we've seen last year. However, it's important to note that while it's lower than last year's levels, we're really in line with those long-term averages. What this means is we know when we combine this with the fact that level of new listings have been dropping in the market, that has kept our market relatively balanced and prevented any further sliding in prices as far as the benchmark price is concerned. Now with all of this being said, it's important to consider that these are activities for the current month. Employment levels are expected to continue to ease as we move into the second half of the year as well as net migration. All of this will have implications on what will happen in the market and many of this will impact what will happen in the second half of this year um, and much of that will be covered in the forecast at the end of July. Consumers really need to gauge the temperature of that particular market. They can talk to their real estate agent, find out how much inventory is available in their particular price range. In some areas they will have more choice. And so in that respect, I think that some people are waiting to see if something else will come up. Every consumer has different needs and wants, so it's really going to depend on what's available for them in their, in their budget and uh, within the choices that they want to have.